class discussions gone virtual. Have you ever had to teach a book that has so much to analyze that spending a few months on the book wouldn't be enough to cover everything you wanted to get across? Or have you ever needed more class time to hear every student speak? And how about the problem on grading students who are clearly intelligent and have things to say, but are simply too shy to say them? Move your discussions to email. The Bone People by Carrie Holm is a book that is packed with themes, symbols, and motifs, so it is perfect to use in a virtual discussion. First, split your class into two or three groups. There should be at least seven people per group. Then, using the school email, create online groups. Make sure you add yourself so that you can see what your students are discussing. Create a schedule. Each day, each group will have a group leader. They will be responsible for creating discussion questions and posting them the night before they leave the discussion. Everyone will be responsible for the reading. Take your students to the computer lab or use laptops for the period. It is up to your group leader to lead the discussion. They must respond to the students' thoughts and questions and encourage them and move the debates forward. They are the teachers during the project. To make sure you have something to grade, require a minimum amount of emails to be sent and a minimum length per email. Give them a rubric of the types of emails you are looking for them to send. When you are through the book, print their emails and leave them comments. The emails make the grading easier than a blog because you can choose which students' emails to print out more efficiently. Watch as your students come alive within the emails. You will see your shy students make comments that you've been hoping they would make all year. You will see each of your students' personalities develop. At the end of your book, split your groups up into smaller ones and assign the ideas they discussed in their emails. Have them use Prezi.com to illustrate their ideas. At the end of the project, have them present to the entire class. You can post the presentations to the class websites for your students' future use as a study guide. Your students will analyze a book to depths that you didn't think they'd have time to analyze. Watch as their literary minds thrive. 